This afternoon, we are witnessing artistry and ice at the ISSI's 15th annual ice carving competition. Teams of talented staffs and students gather here in the Krenzman Quadrangle to carve their way to victory. It was creativity and teamwork that motivated students in the Krenzman Quad last week to create icy art representing their native culture. Right now, we're making a rooster. Um, our because in the Philippines, uh, cockfighting is, um, is actually a form of entertainment. Student groups representing diverse regions of the globe participated in this fun-filled event. These novice artists had just two hours to come up with their frosty sculpture, but they had a little help from the pros. When somebody told me with a block of ice I was supposed to make something, I was really confused and didn't know how I was going to make it. But then the professional guy came over, you know, made the outline and really helped. <laughs> This competition is just one event in this year's ISSI's Carnivali, a two-month-long celebration of cultural diversity ending on March 31st. It's really attracted a broad array of people all over the campus. So this is the Vietnamese Student Association, the Taiwanese Student Association. And almost 20 more groups that helped put together this two-month-long event, each group highlighting their own cultural contribution to the campus community. We're Taiwanese Student Association. It really doesn't get much more meaning than this. And although they weren't from chilly regions, nothing kept these students from succeeding in this ice-cold competition. For NUTV, I'm Lindsay O'Connor.